has fresh from fresh and fit been exposed? Have we all been told a lie? Well, we are live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the Life is a Chad YouTube channel. I thank all of you for being here, wherever you may be, and of course, however you may be listening. Of course, I'm being hyperbolic, but I did see a video. Uh, you know, Fresh and Fit has a call-in show where uh, they have people who want to call in and talk with them about various things. It's it's uh, a variation from their normal panel show. And I actually quite like it. I think it, it has given a lot of good content and a lot of uh, interesting topics. They talk about Bitcoin, uh, various business ideas, how to make money. They also have a hater call-in show. So I actually think it, it's really solid. And do I really want this smoke? Do, do I really want to bring the heat on me with this? I think I do. Now, <clears throat> before I delve in to it, I want to say, so <clears throat> obviously I have reacted to quite a few videos from Fresh and Fit. Just because I do that does not mean that I agree with every single thing that Fresh or Fit has said on their show. Are there a lot of things that, that I agree with? Absolutely. As Andrew Wilson says, and you guys got to understand, I'll get to Andrew Wilson in a second. You guys got to understand, my viewpoint is coming from a paleoconservative, orthodox Christian worldview, all right? So just right there, we don't see eye to eye on everything. As Andrew Wilson says, and I, I totally agree with him on this, the red pill space identifies problems in the West, in the intersexual dynamics uh, arena, uh, you know, women, uh, men, interrelationships, but they do not provide good prescriptions all the time with how to deal with the problems. And that's my, that's my opinion. I agree with that. I totally acknowledge that there are many people who do believe that they provide excellent prescriptions for how to deal with life. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about and, and perhaps the difference that we have. So within the red pill space, they will, they will commonly point out some bad behavior from women and and uh, various issues within the West, particularly uh, things that are against men in society. And all of that is is well and good. But a lot of these guys in the red pill space will advocate for unplugging and and basically leaving the society that is against them and, Per, uh, perpetuating these ideals that move against men in Western society while simultaneously advocating for masculinity, being a strong man, not uh, not feeling bad about being a man or, or anything of that sort. But the thing is, is that if you're a masculine man and if you look at mass, uh, masculinity as a whole and and what it means it doesn't mean to shy away from issues that present themselves in society it doesn't mean to turn your back from things that are wrong in society and and run away and and uh you know totally disengage from it personally i absolutely disagree with that concept that's why that or that's one of the main reasons i left protestantism yeah, which you guys can check out that video. And I've said that the pro one of the main problems I have with Protestantism, besides its worldview or theology, is you will find a lot of Protestants who, who basically turn a blind eye to the degeneracy uh, and uh, 
heathenness of society and the moral corruptness of society and say that they'll use sola scriptura or uh, a common trope that Protestants use is end times uh, and more specifically Calvin Calvinists will say, well, it's already set in stone. God has already chosen who's going to believe in him, who, you know, who the chosen people are going to be. He's already chosen beforehand. It's already set in stone. And so therefore it doesn't matter. Also, they'll say, well, the end times will be here. Uh, society is moving closer and closer to uh, evil and a, a total collapse. Therefore, we don't even need to worry about it. We just need to focus on our Christian community and worshiping God, and that's it. And I completely and utterly disagree with that because, and this is an issue with Sola Scriptura, uh, Sola Scriptura, which details somebody being their own pope. I don't want to turn this into a uh, a you know top ten reasons I'm not Protestant anymore video, but within Sola Scriptura, essentially, it's through faith alone and where you can read the bible and come up through with the holy spirit individually just yourself with the correct interpretation of scripture and essentially you become your own pope all right and so it's no surprise that a lot of protestants come to this belief where they isolate and focus on some of the scripture that that maybe does okay yeah i mean the world is going uh to end uh, according to the bible it, it's going to you know people are going to move towards evil and 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 you know yes it does say that in the bible but there's also scripture that advocates for uh displaying your christian life for for everybody to see, not in a braggish way or not in a uh, cocky way or anything like that, but but to show the society that you live in a better way and and lead them to God through your works and your actions. You know, it, you're not supposed to be of this world, but you do need to participate in it from your Christian framework. So anyways, I don't know how we got there. But bringing this back to fresh and fit, the bottom line is that they advocate for a, a certain masculine approach and this unapologetic concession or, or promotion of being a man and that it's, it's okay, which I completely and utterly agree with. But that does not... If you are going to be this, and as Myron says, when women commonly will say uh, on the panel, they'll say, well, I want I want an uber masculine man. And then they'll also say in the next sentence or the next breath, they'll say, I, I, I we were at the club and, and he got mad at me and don't fucking ruin my night. Don't ruin my night for, you know, just because men approach me and I'm looking fine as hell. And it's like, See, again, if you want a masculine man, he's going to be masculine at all times, okay? You can't pick and choose little, this is not Netflix or or a buffet where you can pick and choose, well, I want him to be masculine here and I want him to be masculine there, but here I want him to be delicate and defer to my judgment. No, masculine men are territorial. And of course, they don't want multiple men approaching their woman in a in a flirtatious uh, or approachable manner. So <clears throat> bringing that back to Myron, if you're advocating for men to be masculine, then that means masculine at all times. And a part of that is being of this world. Now, I will say, I, I don't necessarily think that fit Myron Gaines is someone who does not participate. Obviously, he does. He has his podcast, which is excellent and has a ton of production value and has done a great job of bringing to the masses these issues. And these were things that 10 years ago 
were not mainstream to talk about. Now, red pill channels are some of the most popular channels in the world, especially these panel podcasts. And so it directly brings some of these conversations to the front. So Fit, Myron, aka Myron Gaines, does, and Fresh to a certain degree, do participate in uh, fighting against these things. So I, I'm not saying that they don't uh, per se. All right. So with all of that being said, I have a lot of respect for their panel and their show and their podcast, but obviously coming from an Orthodox Christian perspective, I don't agree with every single thing. Now, the video that we're going to be watching, this was a call-in show. I know that was a very roundabout way. I don't edit my show. All of this, sometimes I do a little bit, but I don't, I rarely edit edit out things that I actually say. I only edit out dead space. This is all off the dome here. We are going to be reacting to a call-in that Fresh and Fit had from a hater uh, and Spoiler alert, this guy definitely goes in very, very hard on Fresh. So before I hit play, the reason why I brought up the, the masculinity and, and uh, Fresh and Fit advocating for masculinity is because in this video, you will see if, if we do get to it, you guys can absolutely watch it yourself. This is uh, Back to the Roots. Uh, this is uh, his, the clip that Back to the Roots YouTube channel pulled from Fresh and Fit. Uh, of course, you know, this is Fresh and Fit's content, uh, but back to the roots, uh, pulled this clip. Uh, you will hear them kind of uh, at times advocating for one thing and then switching when it helps them in this particular uh, argument or these critiques of them. Uh, and, you know, so we're definitely going to see that on full display here. Um, I think that I also want to say, I think Fresh in particular is a good guy. He means well. Uh, he's a Christian, which I respect. Uh, I wouldn't say he necessarily lives a, 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 what I would call a Christian lifestyle. But as I've said in previous shows, Fresh is the luckiest average to below average guy in the world. Okay. Uh, you know, and credit to him for having the the ability to make a connection with a guy like Myron Gaines and to facilitate a podcast like this. My understanding of Fresh's role outside of him being the number two on the on the actual show is he is in charge of facilitating relationships and bringing these different people onto the show. So I do want to give credit where credit's due. Does it, does, at least that's what he used to do previously. Does he still do that? I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't and they can pay somebody to do that now, now that the show is so popular and big and, and, and whatnot. Um, you know, but but as far as I'm aware, he still does do that. But the reason why I bring up that he is the luckiest average to below average guy is because it, it's painfully obvious. Everybody can see it. Uh, you know, the guy's not very articulate. He doesn't necessarily have uh, interesting takes or or ideas. And commonly, his position on the show is as a backdrop to the things that Myron says and and having little funny things that that he adds to the mix or 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 things like that uh you know my uh fresh will commonly uh say these like popular new sayings or or quips that the, the, all the kids, the, all the, it's all the rage now, all the kids are saying now, and, and he'll say it jokingly towards the, towards the women commonly, which sometimes it is funny. Um, but like I said, as far as fresh, if we're just looking at fresh and, and totally being honest and transparent about him, he does not have any distinguishable qualities, not particularly, uh, you know, uh, quick-witted or articulate or, or 
a uh, a theological thinker or you know somebody who can who is thinks about things on a deep level and is a highly critical thinker. But again, credit where credit is due. I mean, obviously he's on this show, and I don't want to take that away from him. But this is important because he becomes an easy target for people to make fun of him. And I, and I do feel bad about it on a certain regard. I I do. And I credit him for being able to take it. Uh, Now the amount of money they make makes it easy to take the criticism or easier to take the criticism, but you know, he still deserves credit for, for taking it on the chin and moving forward. But as far as the women goes, you know, fresh is, Fresh, you will commonly see, will overextend himself and overcompensate and present this ladies' man. You know, he gets a ton of pussy and yada, yada, yada. When I think a lot of people would respect him more if he was a little bit more honest on that front. The bottom line is anybody who has had relationship with relationships with women uh on on a certain level or has uh been a certain uh ha- has had a certain popularity or anything like that has come across guys like fresh before okay he is a guy who hangs on the coattails of guys that are that do have those discernible qualities uh and aka that's fit and I guarantee Fresh, even with his money, even with his podcast, even with his cars and and all of that stuff, struggles to attain legit relationships or attention from women. Uh, As Rolo Tomasi calls it, having genuine desire. Do I think that Fresh is able to facilitate uh, some kind of platonic negotiated relationships with women. And this is pure speculation, by the way. Okay. I have not looked into this deeply. I don't really give a fuck on that front, but this, this is what my guess would be off of seeing all of the content that I've seen with fresh over the years. I I'm sure that he is able to, to negotiate that through, uh, through the sugar daddy websites or, uh, various websites. And we do have ample evidence that fresh does lead with his pocket. Okay. He does lead with his pocketbooks, um, or with his pockets. So I would guess, and this is my speculation that he still does, even with all of these things does struggle to attain genuine desire. Why? Because at the end of the day, and this is why I always say never lead with your pockets because at the end of the day, you do want genuine desire. You do. Now, your pocketbooks and things like that, are they a a something that you can use to put yourself in a better light? Yes, but it shouldn't be the only thing that you push forth. And women, it's very hard for them to move forth with a man without that legitimate desire. Are there some women who can move forth uh, and and suck it up for the external uh, materialistic items that they may receive uh, in in trade for certain um, attention that they give a man or, or you know, sexual access that they give a man? Of course. But those are the women that you want to stay away from as fresh and fit always say they always talk about that yet they do sometimes there are examples at least with fresh of him leading with his pocketbooks and so i think more people would be much easier on fresh if he didn't overcompensate and and push this massive ladies man situation that he has when when it's obvious that that's not the case Okay. Does he likely get some girls through what I said, like negotiated uh, means and, and platonic semi transactional relational relationships? Yes. Okay. But is there, is 
fresh a guy that is going to just lay down legit game and get a girl to be oh fuck oh my goodness i i gotta i gotta get to know this guy i got i got i gotta be around this guy i i would guess not so anyways let's watch this i could ramble all day on that but here we go Secondly, i invited hold on caller caller see Yes, I have had multiple girls no on the yacht. Fresh, Hold on, call, call her. I'm trying to talk to you. Myron, right? Myron, you're gonna let him duck. Myron, you looking crazy? To you, was that my girl? Yes or no? Wait, Fresh. Why don't you? Why don't no, you no, no. Call her. Though? Yes or no? Was that my girl? No, no, no. Yet, yes or no? Did you claim that she liked me for me and she was attracted? To we got to go back even what further with, with me. Yeah. Because it proves that you that's not a girl that you take seriously. She said that she finesses men. She made TikToks. And she said that that means you lied. About what? I don't know. Everything I stated was what you stated on the DJ Academics podcast. So if you're saying I said something wrong, that means you lied because I'm using your exact words. So just so I understand this, her TikToks, her finessing, or talking about finessing, what does that have to do with, with me? Yeah. Because it proves that you that's not a girl that you take seriously. She said that she finesses men. She made TikToks. And she said that she hates men, which is obviously not a girl that you would take seriously. That's okay. what you Okay. Preach. So 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 I wanna girl? give I wanna give some backstory on this uh for the uh members of my audience who perhaps have not who are not up to date on what this guy is talking about. So in the past, Fresh met this girl who, you know, she, she's semi-attractive. I mean, she's obviously not ugly. What I call her is what I always say. She's a non-300-pound, normal, skinny white girl, okay? And Fresh put her front and center, brought her on the show, and was promoting her in that like number one spot was spending a lot of time with her, uh, giving her a lot of attention. And that's just what it was. I mean, she was put at the front of the line. Okay. She was not just some girl that was a pump and dump or, or hit and quit. And, you know, we never heard of her. And, and that was that. No, this was a girl who he made videos with, made content with, uh, uh, and put her on the stage essentially. I mean, and, and, and put her there for all to see what was going on. And there was a big, uh, episode where academics, uh, I, I don't know exactly what he academics is known for. If he's a rapper or a producer, whatever the fuck, but, or just a YouTuber, but, um, academics comes on and calls fresh out for her essentially being a gold digger and uh, a clout chaser. And everybody in the audience could see it as well. I mean, every it, it was almost unanimous. Now, I don't want to appeal to authority here or, or appeal to the masses, but it was pretty widely agreed that that's what she was because there were videos previously that she made where she openly advocated for finessing and fleecing men. So that's the backstory. Uh, I will talk about it a little bit more after we hear more of this video. Was that my girl? It was a girl that you took seriously. No, 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 no. Question caller, was that my girl? Please answer the question, yes or no? It, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a non sequitur. That, no, 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 this is very important. No, this is, this is very important. Seriously. This is very The answer is, the answer to that question is, Yes. I mean, Fresh definitely put her forth like he wanted her to be. Okay. Because again, if it is just a situation where it's a, it's a casual hit and quit pump and dump, he would not have put her forth like that, but he did. And whatever the reasoning was, whether she was able to convince him to do so and and he tricked himself into thinking well you know well maybe I'll maybe I'll get some pussy if if I put her on the show you know what and and if that's the case that's bad that's not good um nonetheless he did put her forth was she like officially his girl 
I mean, yes and no. I mean, I'll put it to you this way. Had she wanted to be his girl, he would have definitely went for it. Okay. The reason why she was not his girl was not because Fresh didn't want that. It wasn't because Fresh was pumping the brakes and, and holding off. And it, it was not that. Okay. So this is not a great point by Fresh here. I'm just being honest. It's not because either way, Ultimately, honestly, it's irrelevant whether she was his girl or not, because at the end of the day, he still did allow her to completely dictate the relationship and use his resources, time and energy to promote herself and bring herself up. Very important. What's up, my girlfriend? It's a stupid. It's a stupid. No, no, no. Call, call her. I'm relevant. responding you're to trying, your. To, to your I'm gospel. responding to you. What's up, my girl? Yes or no? Wait, Fresh, why don't you... Why don't no, you no, 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 call it yes or no. Was that my girl? No, 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 yes, yes or no. Did you claim that she liked me for me and she was attracted to my game? Why Hold on. I asked the question first. I asked a question. Answer. Was that my girl? No, 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 I asked it first. Oh, no, 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 no. Was that my girl? Why, why are you See, it? you can't answer the question. See, this is a deflection tactic. No, it's this not. This is a deflection tactic. That no, it's not. Fresh. You don't answer questions. I'm, I'm asking her right now. What do you mean, no, it's not? You just de you just deflected. I asked you. She, you said she liked me for me, and she was attracted to my game, but she only went on a date with you after you took her out on a yacht. Call her. A address that. TikToks. Address it. My girl. Address it. Address finesse. It. Look at you. I'm exposing you right now. You look no, you're not. Right now. Fresh, you fresh. don't smell anything. You but took her out. Fresh, she rejected Hold on. you multiple times. Did she finesse me? Until you told her. Hold on. Until you Call her. On a yacht. Call her. That, that was her word. Call her. She did, said it on the DT. Call her. Did she, finesse, did she finesse me? What? Yep. Fresh, answer my question. What? You're ducking my question. How, my, my so what the caller is talking about is that, um, here, we're going to see if we can speed it up, actually. I know some people don't like that, but <clears throat> we're going to speed it up a little bit. But, um... So he went for her, Fresh did, uh, to which there was not, it was not really reciprocated, his interest. And then he continues the pursuit, brings her on a yacht, and then she's interested in him. Uh, which, you know, again, I'm not the biggest advocate of leading with your pocket book and, 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 um, your resources and your clout and, and all of that. Do women care about that or some women? Yes. But again, coming from my Christian worldview, is that a girl that you'd really be interested in to spend any amount of serious time with? No, fuck no. You shouldn't be interested in a girl like that, that, that that's what she needs. And I think honestly, that that's the point that this guy is making. Also, I do want to point out is it the end all be all that she said no to him, uh, to his uh, interest, to his interest? No, girls do commonly say no. And sometimes you do have to uh, have take multiple shots. Shoot or shoot. Let the shooter shoot, coach. Take multiple shots to, you know, facilitate what you're trying to facilitate. OK, sometimes it's just not the right timing. All right. And, and so, I, you know, I, I don't want to give fresh too hard of a time on that part, but it is. It's definitely a red flag that she only after being invited to a yacht decided to move forth with him. That's definitely a red flag at, at the least. Is it the end all be all? Maybe not, but it's. <laughs> It's still a red flag, okay? Myron, why is What's the question? my question right now? What's the question? My, my question is, is it true that after mm -hmm. you asked her out multiple times and she rejected your advances saying she was too busy, but mm -hmm. out, all out of the blue, once you told her that you were going to be with, on a yacht, then all of a sudden she had time to meet with you. Is that true or no? First off, caller, I was going on a yacht regardless. Yes no. Secondly, fresh, 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 I invited, fresh, hold on, no, caller, caller, see, I'm talking right now. Yes, I invited multiple no girls on a yacht. Hold on, call, call her. I'm trying to talk to you. Myron, right? Myron, you're gonna let him duck. Myron, you're looking crazy right now. You're gonna let him duck. Bro, Myron, you're not gonna tell I'm him confused, bro. I'm trying to respond to you. You won't let me talk. So first off, 
Go to Muscle Girls. The, it's yes or no, exact. Fresh, yes or no. We Nigga, know what the answer I'm is talking. you're not trying to answer See, the question. See, you come with accusations. I'm responding to yes you. Yes or no. Nigga, I asked yes a question before. No. You could respond. Anyhow, so I'm going to talk right now. Yes or no. I'm with Muscle Girls. This is Myron. 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 Bro, what are you? Come I'm on, confused, Myron. bro. I'm responding to you. You, you wouldn't let me talk. Myron, come on, man. Yo. Myron, come on, man. Myron. All right. So, first off, right? I invited yeah. multiple girls to the yacht. She was one of them. Third, uh, secondly, in any case, yeah, I showed before. She was busy. Cool. This is Miami. Girls are always busy, bro. Doing things with friends, maybe other guys. It is what it is, right? Brought on the yacht. We had a great time. Cool vibe. She was cool. I liked her a lot. She's cool. Secondly, one, I never met, sorry, thirdly, I never met my girl, right? You're saying, oh, on the podcast, I said this and that. Yeah, I was saying stuff. Because- yeah, but, but fresh. You did put her front, front and center, though. You gave her certain perks and privileges that a, no, a normal girl, run-of-the-mill girl that, that you have a very casual relationship with would not get, okay? And so that does denote some importance and value you placed on her as a woman. And so, yes, it does call into question you being able to see the reality of the situation and and uh to notice female nature at its worst for what it is and to notice these red flags that is what red pill is all about to notice these flaws and issues and red flags and to navigate accordingly and that is the critique. If you can't even see them yourself, that's a problem. That is conflicting with the worldview. Now, I will say, if this were a debate, you know, a, a good debate tactic that Fresh could have is by simply saying, and, and again, this just shows how average of a person Fresh is because this is a, a really easy debate point. Now, he admits later in the show he's not a good debater and and fair enough. But I don't even think that like good debaters need, you know, this is just a common sense thing. Just because you live a certain lifestyle, it doesn't take away from the truth of your claims, of your worldview, of, of what ought to be. Okay. So, for example, a smoker who smokes every single day can advocate for people not smoking and put forth facts and and points against why or for why it's not good to smoke. And all of those points could still be valid. Just because that person is a smoker doesn't take away from the validity of the points. Very simple, very easy. That is what Fresh could have easily said instead of this bull, this bullshit about him not making her his girl, which again, I already talked, addressed that earlier. Because she was cool, and I said she likes, she likes me for me. Understandable. But once again, she's never <laughs> my girl, and her TikToks have nothing to do with me. Whoever she finessed in the past or whatever she did in the past, that's not her, bro. But for you to say that, oh, that was my girl, and she finessed me. So yeah. I really want to address that point that Fresh just made. Okay, so we'll play it back here. Right? You're saying, oh, on the podcast, I said this and that. Yeah, I was saying stuff because she was cool, and I said she likes, she likes me for me. Understandable. But once again, she's never my girl, and her text talks have nothing to do with me. Whoever she finessed in the past or whatever she did in the past, that's not her, bro. But Okay, so that was probably one of the worst things that Fresh said. He said, whatever she did in the past is on her. It's basically her business. Whatever TikTok videos she made, whatever she did in the past was on her. Fresh, come on, bro. Fuck. No, bro. How often on the show and on these red pill channels on your own show as well, do people say, do people say, or do you guys say, say that three times, that a woman's past matters, that men care about a woman's past all the fucking time. And the point is, is not as pure judgment or, or anything like that, but it's, to be able to decipher the red flags or the potential issues with a a girl that you are pursuing. That's the whole point of it. You look at her past to see, uh, to give you a, a 
picture of what she could be like in the future. They always say on the show that the past matters. So him saying that that's her business, like, like, and just totally, therefore it doesn't, it's, it's irrelevant it is nonsense. If you say on the show that a woman's past matters, then no, her doing that would matter because as a proper red pill authority or, or advocate, advocate's a better word. You would know that that shit does matter and to look at them and go, eh, this, those are red flags. Maybe I'm just going to take this. I'm not going to take this girl too seriously. I'm definitely not going to allow her on the show. I'm definitely not going to move her to front of the line because these are two bigger red flags. She She's in it for herself. She's in it for the clout. Those are telltale signs. And that's the point that this guy is making that fresh struggles to see those things. I could, I cannot believe he said that. So, but by the way, guys, I also just want to quickly say <clears throat> before we continue, and I already basically said this, but I want to say it again. Me doing this video is not as like hate or, uh, or to bring fresh and fit down or anything like that. It, it absolutely not the case. As I said, I do respect what they have done. I agree with a lot of what they say. And personally, I honestly do think they're okay guys. You know, I don't, I don't have any qualms against them, but I do have to call out bullshit that conflicts with the worldview that I am pushing and promoting. And this is a fundamental issue that we see in the red pill is what we're seeing with fresh right now. And here's the thing, guys. As a Christian, I fully acknowledge that not everybody's perfect. And I always say, even with me, you, you guys shouldn't hang on, on everything I say and that what I say is the end all be all and it's the orbiter of truth or anything. Of course not. Okay. We are fallen human beings. We that we are are sometimes in error. We are in sin. So I don't expect fresh and fit to be perfect, but it also doesn't mean that I cannot put forth the inconsistencies in what they say in hopes that maybe they will see some of these critiques and go, hmm, that's valid, that's that's fair, and respond accordingly and 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 fix those things and move forth accordingly. If they don't, then fuck it. It is what it is, you know, it, whatever. But <clears throat> You know, just because you critique somebody doesn't mean you dislike them. Okay, it, it doesn't. We're, we're men with men. That's not the case. Men, this is what we do. We 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 get to the bottom of things. We get to the truth. We ruffle through the nonsense and get to what what it should be. What ought to be. What 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 is the, what is the best. As Jay Dyer always says, you know, the men debate, men critique, men uh, point out inconsistencies in viewpoints. It, it just so, you know, so I just wanted to say that I don't I don't want people to get this notion that I <clears throat> feel any sort of negative way towards either of these guys. I absolutely do not. Uh, and and honestly, I do have a lot of respect for them. Uh, but you know, Fresh's point that he just made was was fucking stupid. It was <laughs> it was not a good point. It, it wasn't. So, but anyways, for you to say that, oh, that was my girl and she finessed me, but yeah, it's false. So, we gonna say no. Putting him back on. Go ahead. Am I muted? Can I talk? Yeah, go ahead. So, I'm gonna ask you for the fiftieth time, Fresh. Can you answer the question? Because I asked you a yes or no What's question. question? And, just... and also, guys, it is. I think it takes a lot of balls to do what they do which is to bring people, you know, you know how much they, these guys are in the limelight. It, it, honestly, it is easy. It is easy to critique them. It, it, from afar, it is easy to critique them. Okay. And I, I acknowledge that anybody who's in the limelight there, they have so much that's out there and it, you know, it, it just makes it that much more likely that they're going to have 
certain issues. But it does take a lot of balls to open it completely up and say, listen, if you guys disagree with me, come the fuck on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. You know, so so I do think that that is awesome. And I highly encourage them to continue to do so. And uh, it does take it, it is a very masculine thing to uh, look your, uh, I, I guess, uh, uh, well, hater, for lack of a better term, or or uh, contradictors right in the face and say, Let, let's talk about it. W okay, what's your issue? This, this, and this. Okay, this is why you're wrong. This is, you know, but conversely, and this is also a Christian ideal, you need to be humble enough to... And, and as a man, I think it's also very important to be not not open minded in like a in like a female sense where you're open to everything. And I'm just really open. My, no, not like that. But but you need to. God gave you two ears for a reason, and you're not going to be right about everything. And when certain arguments and data present themselves that do conflict with maybe some of the things you're advocating for. You need to be humble enough to open your own two ears and, and listen and, and, and then admit and just say, yeah, you know what? Perhaps I was wrong on that. And I think again, with this, a lot of people would respect it even more if they just did that every now and again. And that's why on one hand, it's it's cool that they do this. It's masculine that they look their detractors in the face squarely. But simultaneously, if they were just willing to uh, open their ears and be willing to accept contradictory evidence to what they are saying or doing, I think a lot of people would have more respect for it. I could be wrong on that. But uh, again, just overall, I'm a big advocate. That is how you grow, guys. That As a man, that's how you grow. You, you open your ears and you are a sponge. You take in all of, all of the information that and, and shift through the information that, that will help you the most and apply it to your life. And I think for me, playing division one water polo and playing sports my whole life. That, that's probably one of the biggest lessons that I learned is to be coachable, to, to, to listen and listen, to understand rather than to always listen, to respond as Myron says. This went on a whole diatribe that had nothing to do with my answer. No question. Can you, can you, no, actually, I actually debunked all of your claims just now. Wow. 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 So you're not going to answer the question. Answer mine. What's your, my girl? Man. All right. Look, bro. So what, so your point of contention, let me get this straight. This is crazy. Your, your point of contention is this. You are, you're, you're basically arguing, yo, you went out with a girl that flaked on you multiple times that had a questionable TikTok and you had a relationship with her. Is that your, your basic, your premise here? <clears throat> it's not necessarily the relationship. It's about that you preach red pill ideology. Yeah. But ideology? you would, you would have told anyone else in that situation, bro, she doesn't like you for you because that's what you said. Fresh. You said she liked me for me. Mm -hmm. And you said that, um, she was attracted to my game, but you did not. Um, you did not see the signs that she didn't. That, that that's just not true. Okay, so out. call her, call her, call her. Are you? Her on the yacht and then and then that, call her. Go, and I still and I, I still haven't gotten a yes or no. But please go on, mine. All right, call her. An answer to the question. Call her. We've talked about this before. Okay, when you deal with girls, a lot of the times what will happen is they'll flake. Right? It depends on how you meet her. Right? We've had it before where and I've talked about this explicitly. Of course. You'll match with a girl on Tinder. She won't, she won't meet up with you, whatever it may be. Then maybe you match with her on a sugar site. She messes you on a sugar site or you run into her at a party. Then all of a sudden things change. And then what he did was, yo, this girl's flicked on me before, put her on a list. And, and that's true. I, I, I agree with that, you know, but again, should you lead with your pockets? It, like if all those things fail, is it necessarily the smartest thing to do to then lead with your pocket and your clout and, and all that? And even if you say yes to that, as opposed to no, is that actually a girl that you would want to take seriously? To me, the answer is a resounding no. And I think that both these guys would agree if it wasn't this particular caller talking to them about this particular thing.
No, you you wouldn't want to. Now, who knows? Maybe Fresh and Fit would say that all women are like that, and and most women, you know, need to see uh, cloud and and popularity, and and so therefore you you have to exhibit it and show it. But let's just say that that's true. I think there's, I think there's something to be said about not actively pushing it for and, and throwing it in so, like not in a bad way but but putting it right in somebody's face and as opposed to just living your life naturally with the means that you have and let the chips fall where they may cuz there's a difference between somebody showing you right to your face I have this this and this and this therefore you should like me and just just live in your life and you know and and in a natural manner and you know let letting the chips fall where they may list all right i'm going on a yacht i'm gonna invite all 10 of these girls yep. that i've talked to before in my contact list to come on this yacht she said okay i didn't want to link with you before but since you're going on a yacht i'm gonna come what does that do that presents an opportunity for him to spit his game if she did not like him she would not have hung out with him after the fact of going on the yacht are you correct in the sense that she flaked on the past? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you correct in the sense that she flaked yeah, on a prior? I agree with you, Martin. I agree with you. Okay, so, like, bro, you got to understand that this is sales. There's multiple points of contact. A lot of the times you got to talk to a, a customer six or seven or eight times to make the sale. She uh, she uh, flaked before, which is, that's what it is with girls. They flake all the time. Then he says, yo, I'm going to put her in my contact list, invite her, 10 other girls. She decides to show up to the app. He's able to go ahead and... Um, Talk to her, which is game, by the way, FYI. And then they end up hanging out after the fact. Did he ever wife her? No. She watched his dog. Yes, she had questions. Here's also why I would say that what Fresh did was wrong. Here, Here's, so everything I said is true, but but this is probably the main reason. And, and this is in line with the not leading with your pocketbook. Why, what does it, what are you saying to a girl when she doesn't respond to you when you hit her up in in the ways that you did before. She doesn't respond to you in, in those ways that you exemplified or put forth. And then you basically reward her not hitting you up by bringing her on a yacht and doing like the most extravagant thing you could do for her. What, do, what does that say? I do think that that's kind of simpy, honestly. So, you know, if, if a girl, so uh, let, let's play this out. So let's say you ask a girl out on Tinder and or whatever the fuck, and, and you don't really get the response that you want. Okay. And then, you know, you, you, don't necessarily up the ante, but but you see her in person, you and you decide to give her flowers or or just cold approach and ask her, hey, listen, I know you know it didn't work on Tinder, but uh, but would you like to go out with me sometime? Gra go grab some dinner, and she still says no, and then you invite her on a yacht after those two things. It's like it's here and then it goes up here after the bad behavior. What does Myron always say? I mean, you 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 don't reward the bad behavior because then, you know, as Rolo Tomasi says, women are boundary testers. They will test your boundaries as a man because they're really testing your masculinity. That's that's what it is. And so what does it say to her if she tested your masculinity by saying no to the normal quips that you did, to the normal uh, approach that you did. And then you're basically willing to reward her not saying yes to you in those normal circumstances by bringing her on a fucking yacht and, and pursuing her th heavily there as well. It is, you are 1000% leading with your pockets then. And she knows that she, from that point forward, she knows she can get away with damn near anything because if you are willing and okay with her giving you the middle finger, <laughs> giving you the middle finger 
to your normal introduction. And you're like, oh, fuck the middle finger. I'm just going to bring her on a yacht. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the biggest issue I have with it is Fresh definitely did not present because he didn't see the red flags. And it, it he, because he was unable to see the red flags for what they were, he then upped the ante and then rewarded poor behavior and the middle finger that she gave him. That's not, that's not smart dating techniques. What, what a normal masculine man who can see the red flags for what they are, but let's just say, let's just take the red flags out. A normal masculine man who does have boundaries, a girl says no twice like that, he fucking moves on and says, fuck it. Okay, fine, fine. I'm I'm going to keep moving forth and I'm just going to go ask another chick out. I'm going to totally forget about you. You had your chance and I'm going to move forward. You not doing that shows that you had some sort of inkling and now she knows she can essentially get away with, with murder. Yikes. All right, let's keep watching. Man. TikToks, but the whole reason why him and her didn't work is because he was fucking other bitches, bro. If you want to really know what the hell's going on behind the side scenes, and Fresh is terrible at fucking. Not, no, bro, hold on, hold on, point, hold on. I'm not actually addressing the point. I'm addressing the point with you. I don't disagree with anything you're saying. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm but I'm explaining to you yeah. what it was because you're trying to say that yo, this girl, like you went out with a girl that flaked on you. She only went out out with you because you had a out. Maybe that's true. But you got to understand that he messaged a whole bunch of other girls and who was going to bite. She showed up. There are other girls that showed up. He talked to her. Clearly, she liked him to some degree. And then they hung out after the fact. But he never wiped her, never took her serious. And on top of that, he's having sex with other girls while he was with her. And that's why the whole, they had issues. In Bruh, the Myron, that's, that's bullshit, bro. He fucking brought her on your platform, okay? All those other bitches, quote unquote, that he was fucking just fucking, did he bring them on the show? Come on, bro. No, he fucking didn't. He, de he definitely put her ahead of the line. He definitely gave her certain priority than he gave to the other women. That is obvious. All right, we'll keep watching here a little bit more. First place, bro. That's why they pretty much like don't You're not addressing my point. What's your point? What's Can your I point? restate my point? Because you're not addressing it. What's your point? My What's point, point is that Fresh claimed that she likes me for me and she was attracted to my Oh, also guys, one thing you guys just need to know <clears throat> from me is above all else what is important to me is getting to the truth and saying what i believe to be the truth so i place that above you know loyalty to a show or or um whatever the case may be so even if there is somebody that I do like or like what they advocate for and things like that. If there is something that I think needs to be addressed, I will always point it out and be totally transparent and honest about it. So, um, and, and <clears throat> some YouTube creators don't feel that way and that, and that's fine. But for me, that is important. Again, but she only went out with him until he revealed to her that I'm going to be on a yacht before that she rejected his date. So please address that. Okay. I would love you. If she hung out with him after the yacht, by definition, that means she liked his game because <laughs> she already had gained the value from being on the yacht. So if she didn't like him. Then why? Right? Why would she hang out with him after okay. the fact for months? Exactly. Explain that. Because she doesn't. Because she doesn't like him. She likes his resources. She likes his status, but she doesn't like him. That's the point. Bro, okay. Yes, sir. He didn't take her out after that yacht. That that means. I I do agree. I, I wish I had the backtrack of of E Fody. Yup. Nope. <laughs> let me see if i can find it right quick let me see let me see. i had to i have to use it with with this stupid ass video but nope nope yep anyways you guys get the point let's go back to the video to that video we going back to the video here we go. You have no game. No, 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 hold on, hold on. No, no. hold on. Tricking. He was able to get her on the yacht, and then after that, he didn't take her anywhere uh, on another yacht, bro. Like, what are you talking? Clearly, if she came for the yacht, and then she hung you out with him weird. after the fact. Are you playing? Why are you playing dumb right now? You know. Yo, 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 yo! Why are you fucking playing stupid, yo? 
Fuck. You know why he could still take her out even if it wasn't on a yacht. Bro, then that's revealed you that, do not hey, know I, I anything. Days, you are assuming off of some again. facts from a podcast. These, these, these people live in Miami. They Europe, see everything. Fresh. You're assuming, oh, fresh, RB terminology. Bro, I have game. Whether you want to stop the nerd, I have game. Regardless of the she hung out with him after the bro, fight. She gained the nigga. Hold on, game, hold on, fresh. Nigga, nigga. Don't, nigga. Don't have game bro, bro. If she hung don't out have, with him, look, call her, call her, call her, call her. If she, if he met her on the yacht, look, call her, call her. She came on the yacht. She came on the yacht, right? Which you didn't pay for, by the way, since you're trying to say that he's tricking. Facts. She came on the yacht. She went out and hung out with him after the yacht. She already gained the value, so if she didn't really like him. She could have just been like, all right, deuces, I'm gone, which a lot of girls do out here. But she hung out with him after the fact, for months after the fact. So clearly, he did something yeah, correct. But, but, so whether but you might fit. not like, come on, Myron, Myron, come on, bro, you you aren't being honest here. Listen, you know that what what do women want? They want attention and they want to gain access to certain lifestyles. Men want to gain access to the pussy. Women want to gain access to experiences, the lifestyle. And so, yes, it still is slightly, at the very least, slightly tricking, whether you paid for it or not. I don't know what tricking means, but I'll just say leading with the pockets by putting forth front and center that lifestyle and saying, hey, look, I'm here and we're on a yacht and therefore I'm awesome sort of shit. How it's not as Myron is trying to say where he fucking spit that fucking raw fucking game that 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 hard that hard riz is that fucking flyer shit this is no not that <laughs> oh he did his game there's yeah, still game money. there because she came yeah, after yeah, the fact he had money sure nigga no sure, money was spent that's not, that, that's not no no money that's was okay, spent so, okay. no money was spent bro what are you talking about like girls are attracted to status, dude. Like yo, yo, a component of attraction is status and the ability to have money. So, but what I'm saying is that obviously, I agree with that. I do. I'm just saying that it shouldn't be the main thing, and it shouldn't be something after that you do after two failed things where you basically show that you're willing to up the ante in order to to spend any time with that woman. It, it is simpy a little bit because a, a man, a masculine man who isn't simpy would say, fine, I was interested in you. This is how a normal masculine man would respond. Yeah, fine. I mean, I was interested in you, but you said, no, you, <laughs> your time with me is not that important to where I need to do this any more than what I've already done. Fair enough. And I'm, I'm going to divert my attention elsewhere. You know, that's, that's what a normal masculine guy would do. <clears throat> so, and yes, regardless it is, it is leading with the pocketbooks still and putting it front and center. Do women care about status? Yes, but again, is that the sort of woman that you would want? No. Is that a red flag? Yes. And that's the whole point that he's not seeing those red flags. He's not seeing the things that he tells me other men on the panel that he should see. <laughs> Look at the freeze frame. Look at fresh. Look at fucking fresh. Look at my guy fresh. What's good, bro? What's good, man? I should get. <laughs> I should get this as the. Uh, I should get this as the uh, thumbnail right here. This is fucking fire, bro. This is that heat, bro. But um. So, anyways, I've I've already said that point enough. It is what it is. Uh, you know, it, I, but what it is not is what Myron is trying to say, which is that it's that Riz Diz that, you know, that it was pure, unadulterated game, verbal game that had her interested. No, it's not. It's not. And if anything, you elevated her only seeing you as a means to an end by being willing to take her on the fucking yacht after two failed attempts. She liked him because she hung out with him after she had gained the value from being on the yacht, bro. She That's what I'm trying to explain to you. So if she hung can out I with him that after the value sense? was given, hold on, hold on. Can I say something it, no, 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 dude, because you just got to use logic. If she hung out with him after the value was given to her, clearly she liked And also, here's the thing, guys. <clears throat> Ultimately, at the end of the day, Fresh and Fit, and this, this would be another critique that I have, <clears throat> fresh and fit 
only have so far that they can go to uh and you know i know previously uh myron said that he's willing to debate some of the people in the more traditional sphere and honestly i think he's going to get smoked if he, if he debates nick fuentes andrew wilson jay dyer either three of those guys he's going to get smoked but <clears throat> The justification part, the only justification that they have is through vis-a-vis -vis materialism or scientism. They don't have the, like, like I would have the, the epistemology biblically to promote a worldview. And some of the things that, that, that they are advocating against they don't have that extra oomph to to say that it's valid like a Christian would because we have a whole world, we have a whole framework in which we can do so both through the church and biblically. And it, it just is what it is. I mean, if if they were being debated against, an easy point to make would just be, Okay, well, on what grounds do you say what you say? What what backing, what moral backing or or tool or or framework do you have to back the claims that you make? Is it through purely scientism? Is it through natural theology? Is it through uh is it through a more secular mindset? Is it through, um, is it purely anecdotal? Because I think these guys do take a lot. They 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 do kind of have this buffet style approach where they they take a lot of things that are definitely biblical and more spiritual in nature in applying what women sh should be or should not be and what how men should proceed within relationships and an easy point that could be made against them and I i'm i'm looking forward to seeing that debate between myron and a tradcon and i guarantee cuz i already know i've seen these debates myself i've seen andrew wilson debate uh uh red pill guys and it's 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 easy to just say what do you have to back that claim what is the source the framework that you use to make these claims besides your you know so but and the answer is it, it's you know myron is comes from a muslim background but and so that's where he gets a lot of what he gets but he also doesn't purely argue from an Islamic framework or worldview. Uh, uh, Fresh is the same way. He's Christian, but he doesn't, it, it's a buffet style. It, they, they take certain elements of it, but then they also add their modern current red pill twist to it. Like something about him, which means he did run some kind of game. Now, here's the problem. This is the real discrepancy here. You don't like the style of game because he was able to leverage his status, status and you don't like that. Game, but that is a form of game, my friend. That is a form of game. You don't like his game, right? Which is fine. But it does not change the fact that she hung out with him after the fact, after she got the value. So his game, to some degree, worked because she hung out with him months after the fact. All right, what's your next point? Go ahead. You said yeah, you had multiple points. Okay, Hit us so with the second one. So it's funny because Andrew, Andrew Tate says that you can be, you can have money, you can have status, but you're still the dork. Okay. Like <laughs> yeah, right, that's cool. what's your next point? What's your next point? Because of his status. What's your Fuck, that's that's fucking true, bro. That is. Try again. Fuck that, and that is so true, bro. It is, and that is definitely one of the main. That is definitely one of the main points that I'm making, or what I said early in the in this video about Fresh is, even with all of these things that he has, you know, he hasn't elevated himself physically, and some of these, or or verbally, or through education and and becoming uh smarter and more intelligent he's pretty much the same fresh that we've seen from the beginning maybe here and there there's a few uh things that are that are improved but by and large he's the same fresh and so again that's another point against 
is this red pill framework is this advocacy of improvement, self-improvement. But again, we don't really see that with fresh. So, you know, is it the end all be all that we don't say, see that with fresh? No. Does it mean that what fresh advocate, what fresh and fit advocate for is incorrect? No, it doesn't. Because as the, with the cigarette example, somebody can do the things that they advocate against. Uh, and it, and the points that they make can still be valid. But, you know, Fresh is an average to below average guy who it, on a certain level lucked out very much so. Uh, he still has some qualities that are good. And I and I give him all the credit or so, at least some of the credit and respect that that is deserved from this ordeal that has been created. But... You know, I have met guys like the many guys have. There are guys out there who are excellent coattail riders, where they they attach themselves to the leaders of the pack that are that do have those substantial things that make them them and make them better or or better in certain regards. And is that a skill in and of itself to be a good coattail? rider and and be able to see somebody who's going so well and and attach yourself to them yeah to a certain degree that is a skill and i'm not even saying that that's bad per se I, i'm not saying it's bad but you know everybody knows that fresh is definitely not the guy who is the, the main focal point of what this podcast has become it, he's just not so um Multiple points. Okay, so that's, point. so Andrew, that's funny because Andrew, Andrew Tate says that you can be, you can have money, you can have status, but you're still the dork. Like okay, Mark Zuckerberg, for example. If all right, cool. Sticks, what's your next point? What's Mark your next Zuckerberg point? Because of his status. What's your next point? Okay, cool. So I got you on that. All right, let's. You let's didn't get anybody on that. You didn't get anything, bro. You didn't get anything. Try I again. Did, I did. I did. Come on, guys. I did. You didn't even answer my question. So, but we can I move did. on. That's fine. Let's go to the Chinese escort. I'm about to get fresh on this one too. So, fresh. You gave an extremely expensive long sleeve bracelet, which are worth up to 30k, to a Chinese escort you just met. You claim that the escort's page was fake, but the pictures on her page were not fake. And those pictures were extremely promiscuous and exactly pictures an escort would take. But even if you're right and she was not technically an escort, okay, she's still undeniably a hoe because of her pictures. And giving hoes thirty thousand dollars gifts you just met goes against everything Fresh Fit stands for. Now, Fresh, you claim that you didn't give her the gift. That's what you claim. So many proof. But the escort says that you did. Where okay, did, I have screenshots where did you say Instagram that? Comment of hers before she deleted it. She replied, okay, so someone commented to her, right? They said after that big speech Wednesday on Fresh Fit about how Fresh Walter didn't actually pay for you to date him. Now you posted this. He's constantly talking about Van Cleek jewelry, so we all know he bought you this stuff. It's crazy hilarious. And that was a picture of her with the Van Cleek bracelet. In response to that comment, mm -hmm. this is what your Chinese escort said. She said, our feelings for each other were genuine. Is there something wrong if your man loves you and buys you gifts? So Fresh, let me remind you, your defense was that she was speaking in general. That's your defense. But this is proof that she wasn't speaking in general. She responded to a comment specifically naming you. That's the literal opposite. She didn't name me, general. by the way. You got caught tricking. You got caught tricking. She didn't name me at all. And it's very general. You, no, no, no. Hold on. Let, let Look at her pit. Wait, okay, hold so on. Hold on. See, see, see this, this is where you're wrong. Look at, no, no, hold on, hold on. If, if you're going to say that, if you're going to say that, I'm going to respond. I kill you right now. Look at her page in the. I'm talking, caller. Look at her page in detail. What does she have on Hold on, hold on, hold on. From herself, by the way, or from her ex, by the way. Nick, I'm responding to you. And as well, it's you're not, all documented. You're not responding to it. What? I am. What? Yo, my point, you're, you're, so okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, because you, you, hold on, hold on. Dude, let's just summarize, boil it down. You're claiming that Fresh bought this Van Cleef bracelet, correct? Is that the bottom line here? That they say, hold on, hold on, hold on a lot. I just think that's funny. Yes, that's, that's what he's claiming. Fresh can defend himself. Uh, no, no, defend. because let's clarify this. You're claiming that he bought the Van Cleef bracelet for, his, for this girl, correct? Yes, that's what she said. Okay, let him go ahead and explain them. Go ahead, bro. So first off, I don't know why you're saying that because of her comment. So I'm going to stop the video after. I'm going to give Fresh a chance to, you know, say what it really was. That way I'm being fair here. Um, but uh, that, that'll be, there's definitely more, but this is an hour and 15 minute thing and I don't have time to, <laughs> to watch the whole thing. So, but uh, if you want to check the rest out, you guys can. But we'll listen to his response here. That's what you assume. Secondly, I'm here responding to you. And every time I talk, you're saying random shit. By the way, I actually met her months before. Super cool girl. Whatever she does outside of that, once again, that's on, that's on her. But again, I obviously like her. She's cool. Regular person. I met her as well. And she went shopping. Whatever she does for her money, bro, it's up to her. So to put that on me, just because you want to say, oh, first is the simp. Wrong. It's done.
So you didn't buy. So can you no. respond to my All point right. now? Because none, you didn't respond to any of my points. I so just did. I'll, I'll explain it. I'll just say it one more time. I'll just say it. I'll, I'll keep it dumb. I'll keep it dumb for you. After that big, so this is what the comment said. After that big speech Wednesday on Fresh's Fit about how Fresh Walter didn't actually pay you to date him, now you posted this. He's constantly talking about Van Cleef Jewelry, so we all know he brought you the stuff. Hypocritically, hypocritically hilarious. Now, Fresh, your Chinese escort. This was her response to that. What I just read. This was her response. Our feelings for each other were genuine. Is there our feelings for each other was genuine? Is there something wrong if your man loves you and buys you gifts? That was in response to her literally name dropping you. So please respond to that. Please no. respond to that, Fresh. Actually, I actually I saw the post and it wasn't about me. It was in general. And actually speaking, oh it was a troll trying to catch oh her saying something like that. And honestly, bro, like you're you're trying to put me in a box of being a simp. It was in but general. there's no proof at all other than this comment that you're saying has to be about me. When in reality speaking, I actually know what it is. So it's funny because you're putting it out on me, but it's not about me. Caller, he didn't buy the bracelet, bro. And, and, like you're just trying to say that he bought the bracelet. He didn't buy the bracelet. And and also keep, keep in mind, gonna, you are trying to, to assume things without even being anywhere in the picture off of these random comments. And at the same time, it's like, bro, you know nothing. So it's just like, bro, you can say whatever you want to say, bro. But I know what I did. You could do you could do the groans, you could do the stupid soundboard in the back, but I'm making you look crazy right now. No, you're so not. Put a one in the chat. You have no proof right at all of what you're saying. You're just claiming things like you like if you were here. You weren't even here. How would you know? Put one in the chat. And also, bro, what, what, yo, question for you, bro. What proof do you have that she's an escort? She took escort pictures. You mean the the uh, photos that where a girl used her pictures on and put on that website? That one? Yeah, they took her pictures where she was bending down, having her ass out, looking like a pro online prostitute. And then you can claim that the escort page itself was fake. Okay, fine. I mean, I don't believe it, it is, but let's say it is. She still <laughs> took pictures that an escort would take. So she still, she still owes. And you gave a whole thirty thousand dollar bracelet fresh, so that's the hell. You got exposed. No, no he, he, didn't, he didn't. Number one, he didn't buy the bracelet. So all here's where you're wrong. Crazy. One, she's on the escort, and two, I didn't buy a bracelet. So what are you trying to say, bro? Where's, where's your proof? You have no proof. Fresh, you're bro, you're fresh. You're fresh. You're a trick, bro. You're lying, and everyone sees it. It's all ones in the chat, bro. That makes Dude, crazy. if I was a I trick, on, I would, no, hold on, hold on. Caller, caller, caller. Call 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 if I was a trick, I've been exposed months ago by multiple women saying, "Oh, yeah, they would come out, bro." They would come out. You are assuming off of a comment that I did something. Bro, you don't know anything about me. I know what I show, I show on the podcast. I you're, you right you're now. crazy, bro. And you already got exposed in the Reddit as well. From what? You already got exposed in the Reddit. So From what? What I'm saying right now. Can no, I move on to the next point, please? Because this one is, is, I like this one. No, it didn't. Bro. You look, didn't expose anything, bro. Bro. <laughs> like, like, so this is your, this is your can proof. I move on to the next point? Your, your, your evidence, your evidence is, yo, I saw pictures of her on an escort site where people clearly stole her photos and put her there. Bro, she's fucking Miss China, dude. Yep. Like, people are going to use her photo. Her, her, her no, Mario, hold on, hold on, dude. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm telling you that it's very common for people to use women's photos on escort sites, okay? She's a Miss China, bro. She's she's obviously, she's a somebody out there in China. She's good looking, so they're going to use that photo. That's number one. Number two, you might not know this, and Fresh didn't fucking right. say this oh, shit, but oh, I'm going to oh, say oh. it for him. This girl comes from a rich-ass family. Yeah, bro. You know how difficult it is to get a fucking visa as a Chinese national to come to the United States as often as she does? She comes from a very wealthy family, bro, okay? And I don't know why Fresh hasn't explained this before, but she comes. That, that's what it is, all right? Her family basically are fucking... All right. <clears throat> That, that'll be it for me. That I mean, that's all fair. You know, I, I think the main thing that I wanted to respond to was the first part of the video and what they said. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe that's valid. You know, I, I don't know that situation with the, the Chinese woman <laughs> or whatever the fuck, but, um, you know, so, but, uh, Anyways, guys, very interesting. Um, at the end of the day, guys, like I said, th this is not hate or dislike of them, but I, I do wish that, particularly Fresh, I think he was, I, I he is honest at times, but I do wish he was more honest about these particular things and about his lifestyle and, and what things really are. I don't think fresh all the time lives a uh lives a life or or even most of the time lives a life that is advocated for on fresh and fit. I think fresh and fit Myron is pure red pill. Fresh is just along for the ride. I don't it, it, which is fine. That's fine. Like honestly, that's not even like a big issue, especially if he just said so, especially if he just said, listen, you know, there's some things I'm, I'm the co-host of this show. Do I agree with everything that Myron pushes forth and the pure red pill ideology? No, you know, I think people would be much more understanding and empath empathetic with him if he said that, uh, you know. He is along for the ride. My Myron is the one who really drives the show. 
Uh, and, and that's the way it's been from day one. Um, I ultimately, I do hope that both of these guys transition their, their principles and, uh, uh, anecdotes for the collapse of the West and, and how to fix it towards a more Christian, uh, religious framework. Because I do think that that it would be more uh, more accurate, and it would go more along with the things that they're advocating for. As things stand now, they they really are, have this buffet style approach, and you know the thing is, guys, the red pill is not like like antithetical to the Bible. I mean, the Bible is the biggest red pill there is, and all of the sh the shit. <laughs> that Rolo and Myron and, and these red pill guys have put forth on female nature is in the Bible. It's been known for years, for years. Um, and I think it would be, it, it would just make their worldview and what they promote and their prescriptions far more accurate. And uh, uh, that would put them in a space where they could back it up more uh, because at the end of the day, once Myron debates a traditional individual, a Nick Fuentes or or a Andrew Wilson or a Jay Dyer, they're going to say, "What? On what basis? What what do you have as the what is the backing for what you say? Is it science? Is it scientism? Is it Rollo Tomasi's books on on?" on uh whatever his fucking book is called i forget what it's called um is is it his books is it your book is it is it your own self created uh, ideology w what is the backing and ultimately a the christian framework especially the orthodox christian framework has uh, the epistemology of it has far more backing and and is stronger in its backing than what they would have because th they really do pick and choose. I mean, part of it is Rollo Tomasi's book. Part of it is their own anecdotal experience of what they've seen and and research. Part of it is, is religious and and uh these biblical concepts of, you know, chastity and and faithfulness and and uh, loyalty and and uh, what women what female nature should be if they want to uh be as good to their to their husband as they can so uh but i nonetheless i thought that this was a very interesting clip i'm very curious to see what you guys have to think there will definitely be people who disagree with me critiquing those two because at you know this day and age with all these people with, uh, that were raised by single moms and and this and that, there, there's a lot of people who are, are looking for saviors and looking for people in the real world that can be their savior for life. And they put so much on them uh, and, and believe every single thing that is said. Guys, we're, we're all human beings. Even with me, not everything that I say is going to be correct. And I'm open to that. You guys should not hang everything on, on every single word that any YouTuber or influencer says. You take it, you do the research, you think about it critically, and you go from there. But this unbridled loyalty to every single thing that that someone says is is ridiculous but uh, but i acknowledge that there's going to definitely be some people regardless of me saying this that that's the case anyways guys like comment share subscribe you guys know the drill and last but not least dbap don't be a pussy willow and facts are feelings because your feelings just don't matter love you kings see you kings next time christ is king peace